running a new laptop for a very long time. I had my old college laptop, which I was working off on, but the screen kind of cracked and I was running out of storage. So I decided to invest in this MacBook Pro. This is the 14 inch with the M1 Pro chip. Oh, it cost me so much money. You know what? This is an investment. It's an investment in myself, an investment in this channel. It took me forever to make this purchase, but I finally bit the bullet and here we are. Almost $2,000 later. Yay. It's so pretty and so nicely packaged that I can't bear to open it. Let's rip it apart. Hello, hello everyone. Happy Friday. I just finished my work calls, end of the work week, got dressed, now I'm changed and I'm gonna head over to Brooklyn to see my friend Yuen's new apartment. Um, she's been there for like maybe a month plus. Now putting it into perspective, I feel like a bad friend for not paying her a visit, but um, every time we hang out, uh, we always just hang out in the city and she comes into the city for me. So today we're going to switch things up and I'm going to head into Brooklyn to see her place.
sun is blasting. I want to get my 50% off Starbucks drink today because it's a Tuesday and Starbucks is doing 50% off all ice drinks every Tuesday in July, PSA. I got this, what is this? Like a pineapple juice with coconut milk refresher. It's pretty darn good. This is my first time having it and I'm a sucker for pineapple juice and anything like tropical tasting. I think it's a Viet side in me. Okay, so I just got back to my apartment from the roof and look how dim it is in here. It's literally like 6 p.m. The sun is still shining bright and it's just so dark. You can kind of see through the window like how much light there still is outside but it's just not reaching my apartment at all. And then this window contributes like no light. Oh, very sad, very sad. So a couple of y'all have been asking me for updates on the apartment, what I'm gonna do, am I gonna start my apartment search? And there are a couple of updates, but I'm waiting for everything to be confirmed before sharing it with y'all. So TBD, stay tuned, updates for sure. But amidst all of this chaos, I've been thinking about how fast time has flown by because this time last year I was like what um subletting a place in Astoria New York and starting my crazy apartment search and I haven't even moved into the studio yet yeah I remember it so clearly as if it just happened yesterday but it was like ages ago and I think that is like a really big sign of aging that's what I've heard like when time just starts to feel like it's moving really fast that is like indicator number one of aging indicator number two has been something that I've been talking to my coworkers about I've been telling them how these days I have to be really selective around like when I consume alcohol because my recovery time from drinking is really bad. Like if I decide to drink on a Friday night, I actually need to plan ahead of time that Saturday I would spend most of the day recovering. So these days more often than not, when I go out with my friends, I need to really think intently about if I want that additional drink. Like if I can afford losing the time tomorrow to work on something more productive. Yeah, that's how I know that I'm getting old. And then the other day when I was speaking at the Spotify panel, I met another panelist and she told me that she was intern class of 2020 or 2021. And I was like, oh my gosh, there are people younger than me at this company now. And it's just crazy. I feel like the pandemic really sped things up for everyone and I've just aged like 10 times since it started and sometimes I feel like I'm trying to play catch up on life trying to relive the years that I've missed but my body is just not letting me do that so yeah